Welcome back to my Infinite Painter tutorial, today we will draw this mountain illustration. Choose this color and fill it. Create a new layer and enable the vertical symmetry tool then draw this. Disable the tool and draw mountain tops here, fill it with the selected color. Create a clip layer for this layer and draw more mountains using darker color. Close all the gaps then fill it. Repeat the process two more times. This is a custom brush, to make this brush watch the video in the description. Use monoline to close all the gaps and fill the color. I'll add less trees in this layer. Draw some rocks here. Create a new layer and draw a bush here, just draw scribbly lines, add some holes or gaps. Add some trees here and again. Create a new clip layer and draw rocky hill on top of the trees and bush we just drew. Add some grass here. Add some wildlife using the custom stamp brush, or you can just draw this. I'll suggest you to make these stamps, it saves a lot of time. Adding one more tree below this layer. Create a new layer on top of the background layer for the sun. Draw the sun and fill it with the selected color. Now, we will add some extra details to the mountains. Select the mountain layer and select darker color then draw rough pointy shapes. Repeat this to all mountain layers, you can do this to the trees and bushes as well, more details never hurts, more details equals more beauty, but you need to maintain the balance. Create a new layer on the top and draw a bird using a dark color. Now, select the bird and duplicate it, add some changes to it using the warp tool then merge both bird layer. Create a new layer, change the type to divide, and add some texture using the coarse charcoal brush, then lower the opacity of this layer. The last step is to make the edges uneven, merge all the layers, or you can just select the main layer of all clip layers. Just erase the edges in uneven wavy pattern.
Thanks for watching.